<gasps> Blessings everyone, this is Chris Kendall from the rawadvantage.com, registered holistic nutritionist, raw food lifestyle coach, and raw chef. Today we're gonna make some persimmon rice pudding. <gasps> Let's check it out. Baby, I like it raw. Raw Advantage likes it raw. Ooh, baby, I like it raw. Yeah, baby, I like it raw. Alright, so this is just a quick little recipe video. It's super simple, just a few ingredients, really sweet, really different, really filling, satiating, nutrient rich, a seasonal favorite for me. So I hope you guys absolutely enjoy it as well. Before we get into the recipe, I do want to let you know that as a surprise to me too, the plant-based bundle is extended for two more days. So that's right, until 11.59 on Tuesday the 11th, you can still get the plant-based bundle 98% off the $4,000 regular price for just 50 bucks, including freaking Ross and pizza and tons and tons and tons of other amazing, amazing recipe books, fitness guides, meal plans, and so much more. So check it out up there and let's get right into the recipe. So for this simple recipe, all you need is a bunch of persimmons and some fennel. That's right. The fennel is delicious, slightly licorice tasting, really nutritious, super tender and easy to digest when it's young and fresh. If it gets a little bit older, then it's a little bit harder, so you want to get as young as possible, but it's delicious. I love it, and this will surprise you. That I promise you. So I have nine persimmons here. You can use any amount. It doesn't have to be an exact perfect recipe, and just one bulb of fennel is, is quite a bit, especially if you're not used to it. It's got some unique fiber in there, which is great for the microbiome to increase the biodiversity in there. I have two different types of persimmons here. These smaller ones, which are a little bit firmer and a little sweeter, which I'm going to pulse up last, but... Let's just show you how we do this. So I'm just gonna rough chop these persimmons and throw them in the blender using my raw obsession knives. Pretty dang good. I'm not an affiliate, I just love them. You can check them out in the link below using the Vitamix. I am an affiliate. You can grab from those in the link below and I get a kickback, thank you for that. So let's chop these up. Ooh, a uh, hot tip. If you're not sure if your persimmons are seedless, cut them in half sideways and then you can look in the middle and make sure they aren't, because you don't want big seeds in there. And if there are seeds in there, then you want to take them out before you blend them. But these guys are seedless. And they actually go naturally seedless by themselves. It's not GMO or like man ma manipulating. Oh my God. And we have our handy dandy tamper back here. Now, just so you know, if you don't have a Vitamix, you could make this whole thing in the food processor with an S blade. And in that case, I'd actually add the fennel first and then add all of the persimmons. But this way, in the blender, we're gonna put the persimmons in first and bring it to a pretty nice kind of pudding-y consistency using this tamper. There we go. I don't want it completely pureed. We'll take these other two persimmons. Look how dark and sweet those are. Oh my gosh. Ooh. And then we're gonna take the fennel and fairly finely chop it up and then pulse it in that blender to turn it into like a rice texture. Mm. Now the trick here with the Vitamix is to put it at a low speed setting around like the four and just use the tamper just to push it into the blade so that it turns into fine little bits, not into a complete puree. I mean, sure you could make a smoothie, but it's not as great with the thickness of the persimmons as a spoony kind of pudding -y rice pudding much better. I usually like to do one or two quick pulses. And there you have it. And there you go. Check this out. It's lots of pudding. Oh, look at oh oh. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, and there's even more than I uh, can fit in this bowl. How embarrassing. No, oh, I almost dumped it all out over the floor. That would have been more embarrassing. Here I got my golden spoon. Pretty fancy, hey? Mm -hmm. Don't you want a golden spoon? Let's try it out. Hmm. Super duper delicious. Sure, could be great with some cinnamon if you want. Any other kind of a spice, maybe some nutmeg. But it's amazing as it is right there. Just so you know too, this is great with bananas. Banana fennel rice pudding, dang good. Or a banana 
persimmon fennel rice pudding. There you go. Three different ideas. I hope you guys absolutely love this. If you like my raw recipes, you like the videos, all the other stuff I do, you know, give me a big thumbs up. Yeah. Maybe I hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Yeah. There's a bunch of people watch but don't even subscribe. Just hit that freaking subscribe button. Come on. And uh, hit that bell notification to be notified first when a new video pops up. But as always, wishing you much. Peace, love, and seasonal fruit. Persimmon fennel rice pudding. Give it a try. It's good. Ooh, don't forget to check out my raw recipes playlist in the top left, the video just for you in the top right, subscribe for more videos in the bottom right, and get your three free ebooks in the bottom left. Grab your free raw recipe app, available on iPhone and Android with over 100 free raw recipes, common fruit and vegetable calorie breakdown, frickin' raw some food combining chart, shopping cart function, and so much more.